Shalom, Yasharala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Akim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the few Akwath that are listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson entitled, But as the days of Noah were, because you know, if you're in the spirit, you'll be able to see that we are living in the last days. Okay. You know, there's a lot of uh, end time prophecies that's happening all around the world. Okay. But it's like, even, um, oh yeah. And you know, at the camp, it was brought out that the FDA, which I believe stands for the Food and Drugs Administration over in America, they've approved, uh, you know, the trialing of putting implantable sea hips in humans. Okay, so we can see uh, Revelation 13 and 16 coming to pass, man. All right, we are living in the last of the last days. There's no denying that. But even amongst all of these things happening, you still have Jake. You still have the other nations just continuing on. Like, like everything is willy-nilly. You know, like nothing's going on. Or they know something's going on, but they rather play the card of... um. <laughs> Of um, ignorance is bliss. You know, if they just act like nothing is happening, then therefore nothing can happen. That's the mindset of um, of Jake out in the world, man. <laughs> Salaki, man. You know, it's, 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 it's the morning right now. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning. I don't have nothing to eat. But yeah, anyways, that's the mindset of Jake in the world, man. <laughs> Just ignorance is bliss. If it's act like nothing's happening, therefore, it can't affect you. All right? But, you see, they're going to be uh, heavily affected, man. They ain't going to have the... They ain't going to be stable in the times to come because Isaiah 33 and 6 says how um, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right? So... If you don't have this, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, you're not going to be able to be stable in these times, man. You're going to be bugging out. You're going to be panicking. You know, you, you ain't going to know where to turn, what to do, why this is happening, so on and so forth, man. Okay. So let's bring out the precepts, man. And I'd like to start off in... Uh, and this picture here is just a perfect representation of the mindset Jake is in, man. Jake is just in that living their best life spirit, you know. Um, motive, uh, hot girl summer, we outside. Uh, that's that's all Jake knows, man. We outside, you know. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 2, and it reads, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment and a point i want to focus on is the first part which says thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil yeah man so just because everyone in the world is in that mirth spirit living their best life i right, don't have a care in the world for the things that's happening or don't even want to try and get right with their power you know they don't want to repent they don't want to you know do the things that's required to you know lord willing make it as part of the elect you know you're not meant to follow after them man Oh yeah, but they're having so much fun and oh uh, yeah yeah uh, you know I just wanted to no 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 look man look cause 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 you know what does it say in First John two and fifteen man it says love not the world man okay love not the world because this world is coming to an end okay judgment is coming man all these people you see out here living their best lives and and you know. Uh, uh, they're in that folly spirit And they just seem to be having so much fun Right Well, well uh, that's all going to come dwindling Down when, when, when you know The Lord Brings his wrath upon this place man. Which is not far fetched man You ain't talking about In the next 10 years The next 50 years The next 100 years And if it was so then It is where it is 
But I mean, you know, the scriptures say to uh, measure out the times diligently, right? So if we measure by way of prophecy, then we know, man. We, we Look, I'd be surprised if we're here another five years, man. You know, I'd be surprised if we're here another five years. But we see all these things happening, man. Noah, he prophesied for 120 years, if I'm not mistaken. 120 years, and then the flood came, man. This word has been going out since the late 60s, early 70s, all the way up until now, man. Okay? And, um, yeah, the, the, you know, the, 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 the prophecies are speeding up, the judgment is speeding up. So we're definitely... Uh... <coughs> So lucky. So we're definitely in those times, man. All right. Let's go to Second Peter three. I'm gonna start at verse three, and he reads, uh, "Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts." <laughs> His name's not Yahweh Shai. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a black man. <laughs> yeah, nah, we're gonna be at another 50 years. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, yeah, I I'm gonna be a millionaire before I die. And, and, and Lord Jesus ain't gonna come. <laughs> yeah, all that nonsense, man. Okay? All that nonsense, all that, all that, all that scoffing, man. You, you, you're gonna see where all that scoffing is gonna lead these unbelievers, man. He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. So, I mean, you don't, you don't have this truth, you're dead. You had this truth at one point and you fell out the truth, you're dead. That's Proverbs 21 and 16. Okay? We, we, we want to uh, 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 be the first fruit to receive everlasting life, man. We don't want to have to die the death of the wicked and come back in the kingdom, man. As a newborn baby through the loins of the elect. <sighs> Walking with that shame over our head, man. Ah, oh, damn. Man, if only I just listened, man. If only I wasn't so hard-headed, man. No, we, we don't want to be a part of that lot. We want to be a part of the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay? <sighs> Let's read on, verse 4. And saying, where's the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. Yeah, man. That, that oh, that Bible, man. That's just that's just a you know that's just bedtime stories, man. Oh yeah, that, that that's talking about biblical times. Yeah, we're not in biblical times. We, we, we listen, man. We are in biblical times, man. Every, everything that it plays out here on earth, man. The Lord sanctioned it, man. The, and who's that? The, the the God of the Bible. So we're always in biblical times. Ah, yeah. Ah, that, 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 was, that was the, oh, that, you know, that was back in the day. Ah, that's the ancient world. These, look, man, these niggas, man, they, they, they're going to get caught up in that fire, man. You know, imagine what Noah was hearing when the Lord shut the, the, the door of that ark, man. And then it started raining. And then you got the people outside of the ark looking at each other like, oh, rah. So wait, wait, this is actually happening. And then now they're just, in a bad situation, man. You know, that's a that's a cold way to die, man. Just drowning, suffocating to death, man. I remember when I was a kid, I actually had a, a phobia of drowning. You know, but but that was uh, that was their um, punishment back then to drown to death. Which man, that's why Hebrews ten and thirty one reads how um. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. You don't want to fall into the hands of your how about Shem Yashai, man, because he's able to judge you and mess you up in many ways that Esau Edom cannot do, man. Okay. Reading on. This is uh, verse 5, and it reads, For this... Uh, they are willingly ignorant of. They willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Okay? So this flood 
actually happened, right? Whether you want to believe it or not, this flood really happened, all right? Verse 7, but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So the old world was destroyed by way of uh, a flood, water, and this new world, which is the same world, just refreshed, is going to be destroyed by way of fire. Okay. Verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. <laughs> Alright, because you know, you got people in the world who pretty much lose faith, lost patience, and are just back in their folly spirit, because the Lord ain't coming in their timing, man. The scriptures say, woe unto you that have lost patience. For what shall you do when I visit you, man? That's what's that. I think that's the rock 2 and 14. <sighs> Woe unto you that have lost patience, man. All right? Because, you know, you might think we're fools waiting on the Lord and, oh, but he's taking long time. Well, look, man, the, the point is, one day the Lord is going to return, man. <sighs> the second coming will happen. And once that second coming arrives, well... <sighs> What's going to be your excuse? You ain't going to have no excuse in that day. The, the, you know, uh, you've seen the men out on the highways and the byways. You've probably come across a couple of videos on the YouTube. So, I mean, what really is your excuse, man? You ain't got an excuse. All right? This is why the Lord said to preach the word unto them, whether they were here or forbear, because, hey, man, when this when this thing kicks up, you can't say, "Oh, but Lord, Lord, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear your word." You know, I wasn't exposed to it. You can't say that, man, because because you know the Lord has got His men out there on the highways and the byways teaching this word. Videos going out every day, and you decide to do nothing with that, man. So that that's on you. Okay, that's on you. Um, yeah, it's still recording. Yep. Verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us with, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Now, that all is talking about the elect, man. Because the Lord ain't going to... He ain't coming to save the whole nation of Israel. Like in the time of ancient Egypt, man, he's only coming to save his remnant, the 144,000 and then the, the one third, the great multitude following after that. That's who the Lord is coming to save this time around, man. Not all you hard headed jakes, man. Ungrateful ass niggas, man. Verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right, the Lord is coming with fire, man. That's going to be the cleansing agent used this time round. Back then, it was water. This time, it's going to be fire. Okay, let's go to the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 3. And uh, we'll start at the top. <coughs> Damn. I think I've got another one. Just bear me a minute. Okay, I think it's gone. Uh, Second Timothy 3 and verse 1. And it reads, This know also... That in the last days, perilous times shall come. And we're living in perilous times right now. But you know, people want to be in that ignorance is bliss spirit. Okay. Be my guest, man. You're going to see where that, where that lands you. All right. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, 
disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of the most high. <coughs> so lucky. And we see that heavily right now, man. That's what's going on right now, man. Look at Generation Z, man. These, these new niggas, man. Look, look how wicked these new niggas are, man. You got this guy on TikTok called Mizzy. Uh, he's a probably like 16 to 18, I reckon. Right? This young uh, Jake, you know, I assume he's a Jake. And he just goes around doing foolishness, man. Running up in people's houses. Unauthorised. Stealing people's dogs. All for what? All, all for clout, man. You see, clout is one hell of a drug. Niggas don't even want money these days. Just give him some clout. And that's all that matters, man. You know, folly is setting great dignity in this world, man. But that's getting ready to change. When your Howard Shire returns. All right, that, that, all that nonsense, that, that's going to get thrown out the window, man. They ain't going to run in, in, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Uh... Verse 5, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such turn away. You know, the, them niggas that claim they're so straight, they're so holy. Now, really, they're just wicked, man. Stay away from those individuals, man. Okay? They claim they're so holy, they believe in the Lord. Then you bring out the real truth. Nah, I'm not hearing that. Nah. They start running away. Like, we had this brother at camp, man. This, this, uh, uh, he was from Uganda. You know, um... He's probably a Jake, more than likely a Jake. And, um, you know, he comes to camp, he come asking questions, right? But in the moment he realised that the answers he was getting back from the brother's teaching weren't what he wanted to hear, that, that nigga, he started skating, man. You know, because, uh, 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 you know, the, these people want uh, 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 the prophets to prophesy the seats, man. Prophesy that the end won't come. Prophesy that I'll be rich. You know, there was a song that they used to sing in the in the Christian church, right? That like, let me just get to the point that like, everything go double double o, go double double o. Your house go double double o, go double double o. Your car go double double o. The point being that that you know they they want that that prosperity doctrine to be preached onto them, man. You know they they want that prosperity. That oh yeah. Your, your house go double, your car go double, your money go double, everything double, man. Well, guess what's going to double? Your fucking judgment, man. Because you don't want to repent. You don't want to get right with the Lord. You're hearing the true names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You still want to call on Jesus and the Most High and Christ. Bless your judgment is the only thing that's going to double, man, if you don't get right with the Lord. Okay. Uh, verse 8. Sorry, verse 6. For of this sort are they led... Sorry. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins and led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. You know, they, they will learn everything, man. Oh, and this... <laughs> this man that pulled up at the camp, he's like, I read the whole Bible. You know, as other apostles to heart. Yeah, I read it from cover to cover. <laughs> I read the Bible from cover to cover. And you still have no understanding, man. You know? You still have no understanding, but you read the Bible from front to back 150 times. Yeah? And you have no understanding. That's a shame, man. That's a damn right shame. Okay? Uh, let's go to Romans 3, man. I read the Bible from cover to cover. <laughs> Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their belief make the faith of the Most High without effect? So what, you think because you don't believe that all of a sudden the Lord is going to sit there like, yeah. you know what, he don't believe, you know, so I, I'm just not going to do it. Yeah, it was written. That my words will come to pass, but because he don't believe, yeah, I, I'm just not going to do it, man. No, man, you simple ass niggas, man. The Lord's still going to jack you up, man. The Lord is still going to do what he said he was going to do. 
Whether you will hear, whether you will forbear, whether you will hearken, whether you won't hearken, man, the Lord is going to do what he's going to do, man. He's going to do what is written. Okay. <sighs> Verse 4, God forbid. Yeah. Let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So, the elect men that have been teaching this word wholeheartedly, in truth and sincerity, they're going to be justified in their sayings, man. Okay? They're going to be the ones that will overcome when the whole world is judged. Whilst you two-thirds are going to be in that same spirit, that you was in back in the during the days of Noah, the time of Noah, right? You're gonna be banging on that ark, all right, and 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 screaming for help, trying to be saved. You know you're gonna see the uh, this time round. You're gonna see um the elect being beamed up in those chariots. You're probably gonna try um you know you know you you, you got uh, an elect member being beamed up in the chariots, and you got two thirds trying to trying to grab onto a man's leg or something, man. You know, that, that chariot might just, might just zap you, man. Pew! Now, now, now you with your maker, man. You're in the spirit world. You know, so, hey. Man, you either get right or get left, man. That's, that's, that's just how it goes. All right. Let me bring out this final precept. I'm going to close out. This is Matthew 24. And verse 34. And it reads, Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. It's talking about this generation right here, right now, man. Okay. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. So you can't just, ah, oh, yeah, let me just ignorance is bliss. And let me just act like I didn't hear the word and therefore judgment won't come my way. Yeah, you keep up that spirit, man. You see where that leaves you. Okay. Um, verse 36, but of that day and that hour, no, if no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Okay. Only the most high, Yahweh, knows when he's going to be like, okay, it's showtime now. All right. For as in the days of Noah, sorry, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. <laughs> Excuse me. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And the reason why it's spoke like that is because, you know, it's translated from the Greek. Okay. But, you know, they was living their best life, marrying and giving in marriage, drinking, doing all the, you know, in that folly spirit, man. You know, this, this is Jake today. They ain't seeking the Lord, you know, all uh, exposed and shit, you know, dressing like whores. Living their best life. Look at this one, man. <coughs> you know, they couldn't. <coughs> they don't care about the return of our Lord, man. All they care about is having some fun. Okay. Verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. All right, so these are uh, two thirds, man. They're going to be walking in darkness right up until the Messiah returns, man. Right up until Yahweh Shai returns and judges this place, man. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that in this lesson. I pray, Lord willing, it's been edifying. And until the next time, I say Shalom.